And some of the rarest creatures on the planet have been captured by some of the world's greatest photographers. International awards for wildlife photography were just handed out in London, announced by the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, through Britain's National History Museum. Roxana Saberi shows us some of the best. A monkey meditating, a crocodile carrying hundreds of its offspring, and a squirrel scurrying away from two gazing owls. Intimate moments in nature captured for all of us to see. This is my favorite category, animals in the environment. Ross Kidman Cox led the judging of this year's Wildlife Photographer of the Year Awards, choosing from nearly 50,000 entries from around the world. They're complex pictures, and you can look at them again and again and see more. Look closely. You'll see a hippo hiding in the mud and a lion peering through the grass. But these images, now on display at London's Natural History Museum and online, are meant to do more than make you stop and look. Science director Tim Littlewood says they're meant to make you stop and think. They are a spectacular showcase to remind us that we are part of nature, and we are desperately responsible for nature. He says this theme of our impact on nature runs stronger this year than in the previous five and a half decades of the competition. Take this image of a man slicing up bats in an Indonesian market. We know that uh, markets such as this are a hotbed for diseases such as COVID, viruses that are moving from animals to humans. And then there is destruction of uh, the Amazon. Those two images to me uh, are, are screaming both natural history and, and the human impact story. Other photos tell a more subtle story, like this picture of puffins taken by 14-year-old Evie Easterbrook off the um, English coast. I know that they're quite endangered because there are only certain areas with the amount of fish they need to eat. You spend so much Matt Moran watched for wildlife closer to home in London. All you want to be thinking about is composing and firing the shutter. This image really worked for me um, because you have that incredibly intense stare with this female looking at her younger brother saying, you know, there's no way you're going to get this rat. Back off. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Out of the 100 finalists, the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, announced the winner so, in an online ceremony on Thursday I night. This year's Wildlife Photographer of the Year is... Sergei Goshkov for his image, The Embrace. What made this the winner? Well, you can see, look at the colour, look at the light. It's a truly magical um, picture. It's a, a shot of a tiger, an Amur tiger um, from the Russian Far East. They've had big poaching problems, but um, with protection, the good news is that tigers are increasing. The people behind these photos hope they move us to do much more to protect our beautiful planet. Wake up, everybody. It's our home, our collective home. By reminding us we're all in this together. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Roxana Saberi, London. Gore. It's incredible. How do you pick one picture out of that, <laughs> I don't right? Know. I mean, they're all so incredible. Beautiful shots. It makes my pictures of my dog upside down look like absolutely nothing. I gotta work and harder. And you know, I pride myself on my IG posts, but yeah, I ain't nothing, nothing like on that. that. Your IG posts are pretty impressive. We could really? have a, yeah, a competition for that. Yeah, like. Oh, uh, we, I, we could send Michelle out I, into the wild. IG to poster take of the year. <laughs> right? Is he teasing me?